Hello there everybody, welcome to the YouTube video here on the channel. My name is Emily. Today we're doing the root learning video. So that goes by by that goes to normal. It's unfortunate that there's no actual animation to that, so you can't tell what position it's in. I just know from memory. Do 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 reverser. Use that to reach the doors. Bell lights come on. Headlights are running, confirm. And doors are released. So yes, uh, we're departing, f we're doing a run today on train one Oscar 07. Uh, on the 833 service from, uh, no correction. I actually don't know what time this service is. Yeah, just one Oscar 07. We start at 8.31, hence I know it's not, you know. One Oscar 07, Reading to Gatwick Airport. Actually, you've got a red signal, so I should turn that on. Um, yeah, so Reading to, to Gatwick Airport. Uh, we'll be calling today at Raygate, which is where we are now, Red Hill, and Gatwick Airport. It's actually quite an interesting little service because we reverse at Red Hill, and I'll be showing that off a bit. There we go, we've got a signal. We've got the ability to lock our doors now, which is outstanding. So really what I'd be doing normally is just stick, well, as a driver, is to stick my head out the cab door. There you go. Beep, 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 beep. And the door's closed. Bill lights extinguished. DRA off forward, putting in a single amber, which is fine. Power goes on. And we're rocketing away. Um, just due to the speed that's involved here, you know, we're not going to get held. I know that much. Yeah, it's just, it's just basically a cautionary aspect, but the next signal's a fair way down. Well, no, correction, the next, yeah. Yeah, it is. So yes, uh, the 166 actually, I really do enjoy driving it a lot. It's just, I don't really get usually get the chance to, you know, because of just the nature of the train sim world. You know, you don't normally get to do stuff. I'm actually just going to coast now that I'm up at 50, because we've got uh, 20 more people coming up, and we are driving defensively. Again, this route needs a, a bit of a foliage trim. It's stuck on, there you go, you can see the signal now. It's flickering through the trees. That's really bad. That's dangerous. Uh, I'm going to turn my hood on purely because I need the ability to tell. For some reason, I've got the fault light lit, which means there's a safety system in my sight and I can't tell which one. Um, I'm just going to, entering the curve, I'm going to put notch 2 in because we come up on 20 limit. Rounding the curve into a red hill. So I'm just going to, um, you know, drive a bit defensively, a bit of common sense and all that. And just knock the, knock the brake off. These things do stop very quickly, which is probably part of my problem here. That's not buttons. For some reason, you, you occasionally have to do this to jump. Sorry, to go to zoom. Which is just, oh no, safety system isn't isolated, it's just some, some weird fault with the train. That it's not happy about. Fair enough. Okay, there's my 20 limit coming up. There we go. You can see we've got the uh, calling on signal, which means we can proceed. But what it's basically saying is there's a train in the signal sector, so I need to be able to stop within what I can see. Um, but I'm clear to proceed. Normally that would be there if I was going to be coupling up to another train. We're not going to, but you'll see what's going to happen when we pull in. Hmm. Now passing that shun signal, uh, we need to prepare for a 15 limit. So I'm just going to go and quickly slap it in a notch 2. Bit of vital power. And you can see the 15 ahead. You can see that's the train that we're going to be, yeah, it's going to be in our signal sector. At least we're aware of it, you know. 
So we're just going to roll up. Um, I, I'll tell you a bit of a story. So on Tuesday, it's now Thursday night, I, my alarm, my, every weekday my alarm goes off at 6. It's just force a habit. It goes off at 6 because that basically means I can ensure that I'm going to be awake for working time. You know, it just means I've got a nice relaxed start to the day sort of dealio. You know, that sort of stuff. Well, it w I woke, woke me up as normal, and then I I sort of knocked it off because I just tend to sort of nap in bed until about seven, when I actually get out, get up properly, and you know, go and deal with the world. But it's just sort of it's, it's you know, it gives me a nice relaxed start up to my day, basically. Um, I'm just going to pull forward, get nice and close until pretty much that couple of displays under, under the uh, screen, and that's when I'll stop. Right, I'm going to shut my cab down, so I'm going to actually going to open the door. Nope, that's the button to reach the doors. And I'm going to set my... For some reason I just can't zoom. Well, I'm going to set tail lamps on this end. Uh, train lighting can remain on. I'm going to get back in my seat. We're continuing the service because I'm a rebel without a cause. Cab light in here goes off. I'm going to pull the curtain down. I'm going to put my reverser forward, key off, and then I'm just going to walk back through the train. Hello, passengers. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. It's just a good way to walk through and check on everything. But anyway, as I was saying, as I walked in my little walk through here, To be honest, you wouldn't, you'd normally do this if you're doing a security check at the end of a service, but eh. Anyway, um, I, I, I'm lying there in bed, and all I hear is a dripping sound. And my immediate reaction was, oh shit, I've kicked something over. Because, you know, sometimes I leave a bottle like that, you know, if I'm drinking a bottle of pop the night before, I might end up leaving that, um, you know, but never on purpose, always, you know, by accident, in a place where I can um, actually end up knocking it over the next day. Searched the floor all around, couldn't find anything to do with it. Um, turns out, sorry, sorry, and then I'm, um, I look at my desk and I see splash marks on my laptop. And I think, uh oh. And I search around and my, vid my, my video, my window, it started leaking. So basically, because we had some heavy rain on Tuesday, um, yeah, it just went, nope start hemorrhaging uh, water in, which was a particularly nice feeling. Um, yeah. Go figure, right? Um, but yeah, so anyway, that's the cab prepared. I'm trying to have a quick peek around. Excuse me, miss. So you can see, so one of the things they've done is put Southeastern 375s on here that run diverted down the Brighton main to here. And this is where the service would end for a player and it'll head off to, towards Hastings, which is quite nice. Uh, cor correction towards that's not that, is that Hastings line. Yeah, I suppose because that'll be via um, what's his face. There's a place name I can't remember it now. Anyway, um, that's going to annoy me. Um, I remember it on the journey. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember it. It's it's where the trains go from Strood, the Medway Valley line. You've got it's ridiculous. I can't remember that. that yeah, um, I'm, oh, my brain's a bit fried lately. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, there's that. But yeah, so that was, my, that was my story for this video. Quick cab tour whilst we're waiting, I guess, because we've got until... Yeah, we've got like a minute, I think, left. So, obviously, safety system's up here. Um, Preheat of the train. I can make that brighter or dimmer for the fault lights. Train lighting, I always click that on. Uh, windscreen demist. A lot of this stuff's click up, doesn't actually does nothing in real terms. Obviously, headlight controls. Four stage reverser, which we can put to forward. Actually, that's now done, so I can remove that. Um, buzzer, door controls, which we've got 35 seconds left. Reverser, uh, sorry, yeah, throttle, drop PBC, engine start, stop, wheel slip indications, fault light, brake, speedometer. Dimmers, as mentioned previously, AWS Sunflower, uh, AWS Reset, Horn, um, door, re door release for the right side, 
Um, yeah, Pet, uh, reading light, which doesn't seem to work. And that's all the controls that actually are modeled. Uh, let's check our timings. Five seconds to go. Is it actually showing them as loaded? Yes, it is. So what I'll do is get my doors closed. And away we go. So power goes in. And off we trot. She's just missed her train. Oh well. Um, there you go. So I like that speed build. We are start speed out at Red Hill at 15. It goes up pretty rapid. Actually, my bad. It doesn't go up pretty rapidly. We're just going to be going down off the point work here. Let's stick it idle. We've got this. We've got this cross over here, and we that's obviously our line there towards Gatwick Airport. Um, unfortunately, you can't open the windows in this this cab, which is a shame. So we're limited to 90 in the 166. For some reason, I thought this could do 100. I'm not sure why. I've got to say, I do think for how old it is, it look. You know, I, c I can forgive the destination blind not working because of how old, you know it's it's quite old now. But yeah, it's just it's nice. It's just a really quite nice train to drive out in. Anyway, time to put the hammer down. Up to 70. Um, yep, yeah, 75. Here we go. Actually, I'm really glad they put this um, these services into the game. I really enjoy driving them. Um, I think it's a, they're a lot of fun, and it's just it shows that gameplay has been given the time to do a good job. Um, you know, that's something I'll say with Dovetail is everyone gives the devs shit. There's times the devs screw up totally. Um, you know, and I think the devs admit that themselves, but so does everyone. You know, you can go to a restaurant and get a crap meal. Not for any other reason than the chef made a mistake. Um, but if you give the chef 10 minutes to prepare a meal that takes 20 minutes to prepare, it's going to be a bit rubbish. You know, and that's part of the problem. I think the, we'll see a 387 as we approach Gatwick. That's actually the train we drove in the service uh, from... Uh, Brighton to uh, to uh, Brighton to London to Victoria. For some reason, I want to say Waterloo. I need to go to bed after this video. My brain's gone cuckoo. Um, that's seventy-five. Nyong. Once again, that's a technical term. Nyong. We can about get up to ninety on this run as well. think of anything else to point out in the, the train cab. Obviously you, sh you saw me uh, disabling or enabling AWS and safety systems earlier. Interesting, that button there is a PASCOM acknowledge. So if the, um, you know, if you're on a train and you press a PASCOM, the driver has to hit that within 10 seconds or the train grinds to a halt. Um, and basically that's, you know, th at that point they know something's going on, but we need to stop the train somewhere. Um, you know, for example, if you're in a tunnel and the train's on fire, that's not a good place to stop. If you, um, yeah, or if you're in a cutting, for example, again, not a good place to stop. I'm gonna power off. There we go. Put notch water power in. That's power off, that's power notch one. All right. So yeah, um, that, that's what that button is basically. I'm, 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 yeah. And obviously you've got GSMR in this cab. I could have covered that in the cab tour, but it's it's not implemented at all. Like you can't even just press press the button. So yeah. Um. Cool, so coming up on our next speed restriction, which is 70 miles now, before that signal. 
that's our service there, by the way. From the previous video. I just chose to do two morning ones. I'm doing an afternoon for the other trip to Raygate, so... Yeah. Alright, power goes back in. There's 70. Basically, we've got around a mile to go until... Um, uh, a little over, so a little over a mile to go to Gatwick Airport now. Uh, you can see that big arch over the track is actually Gatwick. There's a plane landing at it. Um, so we basically need to start thinking about slowing down the train because... Again, power off. And I'm trying to stay notch two now to get us down to 40 for the crossover on the way to Gatwick. It's a pretty rapid journey, this. I d it's, you know, that's a nice thing about it. And it got this P2, so it's a 40 limit on that crossover. So. I can say it's a little while to go, so we'll just do that, do that, and coast. So our timings for Gatwick, 8.51, we're like 5 early. Again, I feel like because I'm driving aggressively, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting pushed in, some, in front of something. It must be. Because these timings are extrapolated f not from someone driving at IRL, but from the game driving it itself. Um, and it does everything perfectly, so... Or perfectly with a tolerance of margin. But I do feel like I get to the terminating stations way too quick. You know, I would have thought stopping up near this st these stairs is ideal, but actually you need to stop at the end of the stairs, believe it or not. Let your train get washed, I guess, in the rain here. If it's a rainy day. Right, we stopped the train. I'm going to release the doors. For some, for some reason, I associate uh, blue with open and red with close. But yeah, welcome to Gatwick. Right, so anyway guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to see more from me on a semi regular basis. I'll be taking the service back to Gatwick shortly. We'll see you guys next time. Adios. As you can see, a little bit of speeding, but nothing too catastrophic.